Hi guys and uh, welcome back to Dudley Central. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade a speaker in a Backman diesel. What I've got in front of you here is the Backman Class 37 in load haul livery and it's the factory fitted sound. So there you go, you can hear it's fired up. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, not too bad, but to be honest, it sounds a little bit tinny, a little bit quiet to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the speaker for this 37 and after that it should sound fantastic. Um, I hope this is helpful to you in your projects and uh, thank you for watching. So what are you going to need? Yeah, you're going to firstly need a screwdriver. That's to get the body off. Then you're going to need a speaker. So what I've got there is a, a mega bass speaker from Roads and Rails, blue tack, soldering iron, and some solder. And that's all you're going to need for this project. Uh, just as well, remember, uh, soldering irons are hot. Um, it's best to use a heatproof mat. Uh, I don't have one to hand, but this is just a bit of scrap wood. Um, but it's just. You know, be careful when you're using this, um, as it can get very hot. Uh, it's worth mentioning with a soldering iron, I give it um, about five to ten minutes to heat up. Now I tend to have it around 300 to 350 degrees. I find if you put it too hot, it can uh, make the soldering not work uh, quite as well as it should. Um, so you give it a little while, and uh, while we'll do that, we'll get the body off. So now we've got the body off, uh, we can see what they've done to achieve it. So the sound decoder's there. We've got a couple of wires coming to the PCB board which are directly uh, connected to the speaker. And then we've got the speaker underneath uh, which is screwed in. Um, part of why it does sound quiet is the sound can't properly escape. Uh, so we'll do something about that as well. Okay, so the first thing we're definitely going to do is take this old speaker out. So, as I said, there's some little screws that are holding that in. Which are a little bit tricky to get out. There we go. So the uh, speaker's now out. And there we have it. So it's only a basic uh, 40 by 20 speaker. Uh, it's not going to blow your socks away by any means. So we'll uh, put that to one side now. So there it is with the body off, uh, the speaker's exposed. It's a bit louder, uh, but certainly it's still quite tinny, um, and that's the main reason why we're changing this speaker over. So I thought I'd just give you a little sort of um, demonstration before we remove the old speaker and put the new one in. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some of the wires that uh, the models come with. Sometimes uh, you don't have that option and the speaker's directly wired to the decoder, uh, but this one's quite neatly done to the PCB board. So I don't really want to 
mess around with that too much and desolder it and resolder it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the wires like so. And then I'm also just going to strip them back ever so slightly on the ends so that I've got something to solder onto. trick sometimes isn't, if you go too firm you'll cut the wire, there we go, so now it's being gentle but also firm at the same time, um, so there we go, so now uh, we're at a point where it's just a case of getting the wires and bringing them together, uh, it doesn't actually matter which way around, The next step then is of course um, bringing your solder and uh, making that bond. So once you've got your soldering iron up to heat, it's then just a case of getting your solder, pulling it on the connection. And that's it. Simple as that. So the next thing you want to do once you've soldered it is to actually insulate that connection because what the last thing you want is these two um, electrical connections getting touching either themselves or the actual chassis of the uh, locomotive. So just come along, put some uh, insulation tape over the join. Probably a bit tidier than that to be honest. That's better that one. Uh, redo that one. There we go. Right, so the next thing that I always do, whether it's a sound decoder or not, is once I've done something to the inside of the body, I'll just give it a quick test just before I uh, put the body back on. And it's a good chance to check if the speaker's working. So I'm going to turn it on. There we go. Now, if you compare that to before, it sounds so much better. So, so much better. It's got a proper 37 growl about it now. Um, and to be honest, when you compare it to the other one, it's just so much better. There we go. So I'm happy with that. I'm now going to start looking at putting the body back on. So I said in the previous one I'm going to look at the body, but what I'm going to do first actually is I'm going to secure the speaker down. And this is where the blue tack can come in quite handy. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a bit of blue tack here. A little bit of blue tack there as well. 
it just kind of holds it in place nicely um, and then I'm just going to do the same the wire in there as well it just ensures that we're not going to have any rattling about um, and everything's nice and secure in there that's that one so next I'm gonna actually look at the body so I'm gonna move the uh, chassis out of the way now so the trouble with the Backman models is the um, the little support for where the fan is um, and that can kind of get in the way so what we're actually going to do we're going to take that out again so just come in with your little crosshead screwdriver So, there it is. So there it is. Um, and what you're left with is just the uh, the grill, which you can see there. So I guess really now the last thing to do is to get the um, the body back on. Now at this point, you could, if you really wanted to, uh, you could take the little fan off this uh, little mounting plate and you could black um, blue tack it uh, to the underneath of the grill um, I've tried it before and I've sometimes found it just sort of comes away after a little while because it's hard to uh, secure it and sometimes the black tack and the blue tack look a bit obvious to the fan um, so actually what I found on my other 37 has been to just leave it um, because actually from a distance it's very hard to see it um, and actually people are more drawn in by the sound um, than the absence of uh, this little red fan underneath the grill um, it's personal preference uh, you could if you wanted to try and fit that back on um, but yeah the, the, again this is all down to you really but we'll get back to putting the body back on now And it's really obvious with the um, the diesel locos because how Backman designed them, it tends to be the big opening, um, which it tends to be the grill where the speaker's mounted. The advantage actually to not having the fan as well is it's even more space for the actual sound to escape. What I also like to do actually with um, body removals is that because I don't have a cradle for mine um, it's, I just tend to actually just use the box, turn the model upside down um, and that's how I get the model back in to place. What I really don't like about these 37s is the screws which are directly behind the uh, sprung buffers I also find that position as well makes it more likely for the screw to actually fall into the 
the body, which can be a bit annoying. So the body's back on. Uh, I suppose really now we need to give it a final test to make sure everything's working. Uh, the first thing, I, again, um, whether it's Hornby, Batman, uh, or Dapol, or whomever, uh, I always test the lights first just to make sure nothing's gone strange uh, and all the pickups are working. So we've tested the uh, the head and tail lights, test the cab lights. Uh, everything seems to be in order. So we'll fire up the sound. And there we go. Now we can hear that 37 rumble, uh, which we just weren't getting in the previous speaker. There's the horn. So we'll give it a There we have it. Uh, I'm really chuffed with that. I think it sounds brilliant um, and it will go really well with my other 37 uh, which has got a slightly different sound. I think my other 37 has got a Lego Man Biffo. Uh, this one's got a Southwest Digital uh, which the Batman sound fitted ones come with. Uh, so it would be nice to have a bit of variation on that. Uh, and I've done the same treatment to that 37 as, as I have in this one. So yeah, hope you found this video useful and uh, please feel free to comment and subscribe. Bye for now.